Ronnie told us yesterday he's at about 85 percent and here we go at RFK Stadium with Gary Anderson the kickoff and Brian Mitchell third in the NFL and kickoff returns takes it up the middle and he's out breaking tackles to the 43 yard line brought down by Derek Oden a return of 36 yards and he gives young quarterback Heath Schuler some great field position to begin the game in his second year hasn't started since week one on that offensive line which has seen nine different combinations today and this season Patton Brown the rookie Corey Raymer Giesick along with the Iron Man the right tackle Ed Simmons Allen and Logan are in the backfield Henry Ellard and Orlando Truett the receivers Westbrook is out and Scott Galbraith is the tight end so first down and 10 yards to go from the 43 yard line that Jenkins the tight end in motion and the pitch out goes to Terry Allen who is brought down crossing the 45 and out to the 46 and he picks up three with Harmon and William Thomas chasing him down. Andy Harmon is on that defensive line one of the top sackers in the NFL with Stubbs Ronnie Dixon and William Fuller on the defensive line a 43 base Gavea in the middle flanked by William Thomas who had his fifth interception last week and the former 49er Bill Romanowski. And in the secondary, the cornerback, rookie Bobby Taylor, along with McMillan, then Zordich and Greg Jackson will be the safeties. Second down and seven for Schuler out of the pocket with the roll, and the quick throw, and it's caught. Orlando Truett in the first down to the Eagle 44-yard line, brought down by the former Redskin, Barry Wilbur. And I like the way they started with a rookie quarterback, not a rookie, but a second-year guy just starting his second game. A little roll, a little five-yard out, but they got to run the ball. Terry Allen's got to be the key for the Redskins today while you watch the Redskins offense defensively a lot of eight man fronts probably by the Redskins and the Philadelphia Eagles both uh, Zordic you can see him standing up there right now there's number 36 in your pitcher he'll play like a linebacker he's down in 10 and up high Allen was brought down by Daniel Stubbs replacing the injured Mike Mamula who had a shoulder problem a week ago and is out for the next couple games he had to pop back in his shoulder and he should be back the middle of December. Heath Schuler, who has had a variety of problems injury-wise since becoming a Redskin, the third overall pick two years ago in the draft, he's now facing second down and ten. And he gets some pretty good time, and then William Thomas breaks through and brings him down at the 48-yard line. William Thomas, his second sack of the season. And, and then when you're playing the Redskins and you're the quarterback, they're coming after you. Here's 51 lined up right on the line of scrimmage, so they're sending five people after the quarterback. And Terry Allen cannot hold him, uh, you know, he just can't hold him either. Thomas, one of the co-leaders in the NFC, and in interceptions with five to bring to his career total now. Seven. Third down and 14. Brian Mitchell's in the backfield. And eight sacks last week by Philadelphia and is scrambling Heath Schuler, who's got to get to the 34. Works his way to the 44 as he's chopped down by William Fuller and pushed and pressured by Daniel Stubbs. And the Redskins have got a punt on their first possession today. Watch the pressure that they'll put on. You see the tackles twisting and turning around. And Daniel Stubbs back there. Daniel Stubbs and William Fuller, two defensive ends that are in a mismatch today. Matt Turk to punt for the Redskins. And deep back will be Rob Carpenter, positioned at the 11-yard line for the Philadelphia Eagles. And pretty good hang time inside the 20. Carpenter will let it bounce. Bound by the Redskins at the 16-yard line. So three minutes gone. Redskins have had it once. They've punted the ball. We'll see Rodney, Pete, and the Eagles when we come back. Day in Washington, D.C. Great football weather. Here we've got the Eagles and the Redskins. And Philadelphia getting it for the first time. First time in 10 yards to go. At the 16-yard line is Rodney Pete. Heads off first with a nice sweep. And Ricky Waters gets a block. Find some room guarding on the sideline and then belted out of bounds close to the 25 and he had to get to the 26 for a first down that's a gain of nine on first down for this offense headed by Rodney Pete back up for Troy Aikman last year in Dallas five years in Detroit and he is coming off a two touchdown passing performance last week 
against the New York Giants. On the line, the rookie Brooks, McIntyre, McKenzie, Boatswain, who had a nice game last week. And Anton Davis, the right tackle. Waters and Gardner in the backfield. Barnett and Williams are the wide receivers, and the former Packer, Ed West, is the tight end. Waters becomes a receiver on second down one for Rodney P. And the throw is caught. It's a first down pass to Fred Barnett, who caught two touchdowns a week ago, and he picks up 13. 43 defense for Ron Lynn and the Redskin and on that line Palmer Gaines Mark Boutte and Tony Woods the linebackers high priced ones at that Ken Harvey with Rod Stevens the leading tackler and Marcus Patton the former Buffalo Bill and in the secondary Green and Carter at the quarterbacks and Stanley Richard James Washington now healthy at the safety positions. There's Donington Waters and Saxon in the backfield for the Eagles. Rodney Peake. Nice catch by Ricky Waters and a big tackle on the open field made by Tom Carter. It's a gain of one. Every time you get a film and you study the Redskins, Tom Carter jumps up. He's always making a play. He's always where he's got. Last last week he was full press bump and run. Did a good job. He'll give up some plays, but he'll fight you the whole game. Defense of the Redskins has been playing pretty good. In fact, they had three solid quarters last week against Seattle. They played real well the game we had at Kansas City. Second down and eight from the 40-yard line. And Ricky Waters tried to slither three and didn't find a whole lot of room. And he's out to the 40 as Stanley Richard in that line. We're getting a hold on him. There's Ricky Waters. We visited with him extensively last night here in Washington. And he's a live wire along with his friend, Charlie. And they like to call themselves lightning or thunder inside and outside, but they have good spirit and they help each other and they complement each other. Eagles will put in their four wide receiver package. You don't see it very much. Well, we saw them run this last week. It's like a run and shoot set, but they're going to end up with a cluster. All three wide outs to the quarterback's left side. Third and eight for Pete. Knocked down beautifully in the secondary by Stanley Richard on a pass across the middle. That was intended for Rob Carpenter, and like the Redskins before them, the Philadelphia Eagles and Rodney Pete have got to punt the ball away. And Stanley had good timing. You can't time this any better. He's making contact right as the ball's coming. And watch Stanley Richard, the safety, and he's not only getting his hand on the ball, he's getting a good shot on Carpenter. Ryan Mitchell leads the NFL in punt return yards at over 17 a game on the punt by Tom Putton. A rocket up the middle. And caught at the seven yard line by Brian Mitchell. Breaks a couple tackles and burrows his way out to the 17 yard line and a nine yard return. Barry Wilburn makes the stop. Each team is at it once. Each team is punted here at RFK. In the NFL, Norv Turner is in his second year with the Redskins. They've improved in virtually every category after coming as a offensive coordinator for Jimmy Johnson down at Dallas. And there you see Ray Rhodes, who came from that great machine out in San Francisco. And he right now with a seven and four record is having a terrific rookie year head coaching in the NFL. Second Redskin possession on first and ten and the handoff goes to Mark Logan. Fifth round pick by the Bengals back in 87 He's bounced around just a little bit and picks up a handful of yards out to the 22 yard line. You want to watch the Redskins you got to watch that guard Ray Brown left guard he'll pull on the inside trap look at him dig the man out of there. And he's the key for Terry Allen today. If Ray Brown can lead on the trap and on the kickout power play, he's the guy the running back's got to follow. Second down and six. Terry Allen bangs his way like a pinball to the 26-yard line, and that'll bring up third down in a couple. Mark Woodard making the stop on the Eagle defense, the third-ranked defense in the NFL. And good eyes, good vision on the cutback. Now they got to run it again, Kevin. They got to they got to take the pressure off the young quarterback. And to keep this game close, they got to keep giving the ball to Terry Allen. Third down, short two yards to go on a scoreless game here at RFK Stadium. Allen's got the first down. Terry Allen banging his way to the 33. I think that guy you were just talking about, Ray Brown, the left guard, had a nice block on that left side. Ray Brown is playing good. Ed Simmons is playing good up front. They had to move the good center to the guard, but they can block. And what you have to do to stay with the Eagles, I think if they outrush number of rushes, they'll win the football game today. If Terry Allen has more rushes than Lightning and Thunder, they'll win the football game. On 
first down and 10, the handoff, Allen. And it's banged around pretty good by Ronnie Dixon, running right into the teeth of that Philadelphia defense. It'll be second long. And it's an eight-man front. Philadelphia is not going to let him keep on it. Watch uh, number 36, Michael Zordich. Here's your safety. Watch where he goes. Walk up, walk up. Now he's right there at linebacker death, and then he makes the tackle. It's like another lineman. Another linebacker really standing right up into one guy they cannot account for unless they bring the wide receiver in to crack back up. Second down and eight for Schuler and the throw caught by Mark Logan. He's got the first down and he's got some room to go and a great block downfield. And Logan inside the Philadelphia Eagle 35 with a pickup of 32. And what a nice play by Logan. He's a good receiver and he's a football player. Unfortunately, he's made plays like this and let the ball get away. He's not known for a fumbler, but he's had some costly on time. Oh, nice job on the linebacker. He worked inside and came right back outside. Tight end Asher with a nice block. Logan is down. That 32-yard pickup by number 20 Mark Logan is a career-long run on the pass reception. Boy, they're having a hard time getting him down. That's a big man running heavy against defensive backs. Good speed, too. Very nice speed. They've got William Bell coming in for Mark Logan. And this is a Washington Redskin team, Jerry, that has had their share of injuries this year. Offensive line, nine different combinations, all kinds of different combinations, a wide receiver today without Westbrook. And now they'll take an injury timeout with 6.49 remaining in the first quarter. We have a scoreless game. Redskins have had it once. They've punted. Eagles have had it once. They've punted the ball. And we'll take a break from RFK. right ankle he got hit in the tackle and sort of twisted his right ankle but he didn't walk off William Bell takes his place but this handoff is to Terry Allen who's up the middle and he's down to about the 31 yard line Bill Romanowski with the stop for the Philadelphia defense here's the replay of Logan's ankle on the long screen and watch his right ankle when they're starting to gang tackle him and he gets hit from the back Right there. They got him right on the right ankle as he was going down. You'd feel that. Second down, seven, seventh play of the drive. Hand off to William Bell and Bell running outside. Gets inside the 30 and works his way to the 27 yard line. Just his second carry all season long. Right now for McDonald's game break. Let's go back live to Hollywood and say good afternoon to James Brown. And good afternoon, Kevin. Chicago, yes indeed, starting off on the opening drive, capping a seven and a half minute drive with the end around of Michael Timpson leading the Giants seven nothing. Let's take it back to Washington, Kevin and Jerry. The former New England Patriot Michael Timpson. This is a big down for the Redskins, whether they'll pass or throw here in the third and short yardage. Third and three, they decide to run and they don't get the first down. The handoff is to Brian Mitchell, who hasn't carried but 30 times all season. Andy Harmon and Daniel Stubbs were right there for the Eagles. The problem with running out of this formation, there's no tight ends, so watch the top of your screen. There's nobody to cut off the end coming right behind the offensive line of scrimmage. If you're going to run on that third and three, get a tight end at least at one side so the end can't close it so quick. Eddie Murray will be trying a field goal of 42 yards. He has hit 12 of his last 13 kicks. And he's got the distance, and he misses. Wide left. So the Eagles hold on, and we're still scoreless at RFK. down to the sideline and here's Pam Oliver. Well, Kevin, pullback Mark Logan after making that nice return after um, the reception. The trainers tell me at this point that he has a sprained ankle. They basically just took the tape off. They re-taped it and he will return. All right, first down and 10. Second possession today by the Eagles at their own 33. Pete going right to work and being flushed from the pocket and the first down pass is caught. Fred Barnett in open territory to the 46-yard line, brought down by Sterling Palmer on a pickup of 22. And we saw this last week with like four wideouts with a man in motion. And it does look like a run-and-shoot 
style and the quarterback. Now this is what here's your four wideouts all in there and the quarterback rolling to his right. This will hurt his hip flexor. When you got a hip flexor it's hard to run and scramble like this. And then throw on the run too. Runners in the backfield. And he gets his first handoff today averaging more yards per carry than any running back in the NFL and he's down to the 39 after he was whacked by Stanley Richard number 24 as we see Logan trying to limber up that sore ankle and Charlie Garner's a guy he would like the ball every play but Ricky Waters would like the ball every play so they tried to look at that nice cut guy out of Tennessee but he's from Falls Church Virginia right close he says he he cut out the free tickets for this game he only went to four only four only four last year said he had to buy too many tickets that's still over a hundred bucks Second down and three from the 38. They got to get to the 35. Rodney Pete will swing a pass out to Gardner, who is chased and brought down eventually by Marcus Pat. And good hustle by the Redskins defense. We watched them last week, and they didn't have that at the end of last week's game against Seattle. They sort of wilted. Right now, they've got good hustle. If the offense can run the ball like they are with Terry Allen, it'll keep this defense fresher, and I think we're in for a real good ball game. This tandem of Waters and Garner. We talked to him both yesterday, and we talked about him in our pregame show, Jerry. It's as good a tandem as you're going to find in the NFL. And I'll say one thing: they do enjoy life. They got the spirit, and they like playing football. Third down and one from the 36-yard line, and Ricky Waters. That extra dig got him the first down as he breaks the 35. He had a run like that last week too, when he caught a 21-yard pass when he had to get 20 yards. He got that extra yard and got the first down. And if the placement is right, indeed it is, here's a first down for the Eagles. Well, Kevin called it. It's the second effort. He doesn't have it on the first one. Guy McIntyre again leading up through the hole, but the second effort, which is what makes Ricky Waters, he will not surrender. And then, of course, Gardner's got the great speed to go outside. Thunder and lightning, they want to be called. And they're best friends. Best of friends, and they kid each other. How many, how many guys from their college is in the National Football League? Tennessee compared to Notre Dame. First down and 10 for Rodney Pete, and that was deflected at the line of scrimmage and batted down by William Gaines. Really taking the place of Tim Johnson on that defensive line, a batted down pass. It'll be second down and 10 for Pete. Watch William come in, get the right hand right there. He's playing the tackle, and they were doing a stunt where the end went inside, and he was the right tackle, and he was looping to the outside and got his right hand on the football. Scoreless game, 2-14 remaining in the first quarter. Second down and 10 yards to go. Three wide receivers. Barnett, who's got a couple long passes today, is in motion and the sweep again. Ricky Waters breaks the tackle. Waters with the high step and the stiff arm to the 10-yard line. Run out of bounds by Stanley Richard, gain of 25. You watch the Eagles, you got to watch these backs, but they both love one guy. Guy McIntyre, 62. Watch him pull, come around. They're pulling boat swing from the other side, and that breaks the good back. Oh, good stiff arm. Stepped right through that tackle, pulled right out of James Washington. This drive began back at the 33 of Philadelphia. Now it is first and goal at the nine, seventh play of the drive, and a scoreless first quarter. Ricky Waters, and he's got room, and he's got the Eagle touchdown. That is the fifth touchdown for Ricky Waters in a little over two games. And that was a lead draw to hit right up over the right guard. And this is why he's a good back. He started up in there and said, they won. The defense has me. And with his eyes, bossed right to the outside and walked it in for a touchdown. Waters is making a difference on this Eagles team as he comes from San Francisco. Last week we said that is the difference. The defense played good a year ago. Gary Anderson will put it through and a couple flags thrown on the extra point with 142 remaining in the first quarter of play. Red Cashin is our referee today. And it's against the Eagles so they'll back it up and kick it again. Rodney Pete knew this was a touchdown right when the All right, this is supposed went. to hit Kevin right in here and go right off that right guard. Now watch the vision of the Number back. 57 on the Follow 22. That's the lead. Don't like it. I'm going out here. 
And Tom Carter got, he was going to chase the inside lead, so he got outflanked instantly. Now it's not a chip shot, but rather almost like a field goal of under 30 yards. But nonetheless, an extra point after the Waters' nine yard touchdown run and the ball put down. And he doesn't get it. Hit the upright. It's six to nothing, Philadelphia. And Anderson, who had been outstanding 25 of 25 this year in PATs, this is his first of the season. Well, you called it, Kevin. You said this is like a field goal. This is no longer an extra point. So when it goes down as a missed extra point, he's backed up there. Watch him hit the upright. Oh. It was like a 29-yard field Absolutely. goal. Absolutely. What camera work? Fox, the best cameraman in football. That's Elpo the dog shooting that one. So on that drive, Ray Rhodes got a pass connection of 22 yards to Barnett and a 25-yard run by Ricky Waters. Then Waters capped it off with a nine-yard touchdown run, and it is six to nothing Philadelphia with 142 remaining in the first quarter here from RFK in Washington. Waters is touching the ball about 20 times a game, and that's exactly what he was promised by head coach Ray Rhodes. 22 going first. Watch 22 after the linebacker. There's Saxton, and then 32 says, I don't like it. And look at the quarterback. Rodney knew when he bounced outside, Rodney Pete knew that they had sucked in Tom Corner. Uh, Tom Carter, the corner, came in. Watch if you can see the black. The first back comes in, and he, well, look at him bounce outside. And that's because Tom Carter was trying to help on the inside lead. He wanted to get in there, help his team, and make a tackle. Because he got in there too quick, he lost containment for the bounce out. Anderson's kickoff picked up by Brian Mitchell inside his 20-yard line. This will get great field position as he's game tackled up near the 36-yard line. And once again, Shuler will be given a nice place to begin his offensive drive. 6-0 Philadelphia late first quarter. Well, they found their way behind enemy lines, and now they have to find their way home or die trying. From the producers of the X-Files, don't miss a brand new episode of Space Above and Beyond tonight at 7, 6 Central, right here on the Fox Television Network. That's what Ricky Waters found, some space above and beyond as he rumbles in for nine yards. Third possession today by the Redskins from the 36-yard line, first and 10. Sure. Underneath to Logan, a flag is down, a great block ahead by Truitt. The yards are good for a first down in the pickup of 17, but we'll see what the flag is all about, which is thrown back at the 22. What a run for a guy that just had a sprained ankle. Oh, Red. With Red's hair changing, you know, we maybe ought to switch Red Cash's name to White Cashin. I noticed his red hair is getting... <laughs> See this right here? Yeah. That used to be all red. We're going to have to call him White Cashin. <laughs> <laughs> but Red's calls haven't changed any. His hair may have changed, but his calls haven't. Holding number 52 on the offense. 10 yards, still first down. Well, earlier this week, a change was made at quarterback by Coach Norv Turner. He pulled out the fan favorite Gus Farad and in place put Schuler. Who, as you see a comparison, records of starters, basically the same. Schuler really hasn't even played four full quarters this year. Because of injuries and on the bench because of an effective play by Farrar. First and 20 on the run. Outside by Terry Allen takes him to the 39 with a nice pickup on the play of 14. And what a game plan that you're watching there for the Redskins. The Redskins do not want to get the young quarterback in trouble. So they're putting a burden on the offensive line and Terry Allen, and they're answering the bell. And I don't think the quarterback is thrown deep all day long. It's been a lot of underneath stuff. And that little short rollout, the open up the game with, got a little comfort. 14 run, 14 yard run by Allen. Sets up second down and six on the 40. Terry Allen again, the former Minnesota Viking, working on two completely reconstructed knees as to the 44 before he's met by Michael Zordich. All right, Ray Brown, the left guard for the Redskins. He's the man. He's the guy that leads you to the play. Watch him pull on the outside power. He's got the kick out. Good squirm up to Terry Allen. Allen will come out. They'll put Brian Mitchell in the game on this third and two from the 44. Shula rolling once again, and the pass right on the money to it. 
He's got the first down, the 48 yard line. And that will be a completion against the 5 7 cornerback, Mark McMillan of Philadelphia. And here's a guy that was selling Chevrolets five weeks ago. Now he's trying to sell the quarterback that he's the guy on a third down completion. And he's throwing this out against the corner, McMillan, who will guess and jump that route quicker than any corner in the National Football League. You got to be careful with that with that corner. Westbrook is out today. They tried to work on an ankle that was twisted last week in his first game back in seven games. And he twisted it. He's out today. They tried to run him and it just wasn't working. Eagles on top, 6 0 at the end of one. RFK Stadium in Washington with Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver. This is Kevin Harlan. The Eagles missed an extra point, but they're on top, 6 to nothing over the Redskins. We have a graphic we're taking care of this whole game. You in your living room, watch this graphic. If Terry Allen has more rushing attempts than lightning and thunder, the Redskins will win. Right now, they're on target. They got eight rushes to lightning and thunder, six. What's the magic number again? They just got to have more. Terry Allen has to have more when the game's over. All right. First down and ten. First play in the second quarter. Sure, good time. And he throws a bullet, but it's almost picked off by Mark McMillan. Last week, Schuler came in and placed a Gus Ferrat. His first four passes, two were thrown for interceptions. Well, he could have said today this was a pick. This is why they have to be careful. You're going to play this quarterback against this defense, run the football, be very careful when you do throw it. He throws the curl, a little turn in. And you got it. The guy that guesses, Mark McMillan, will guess and jump every rock quicker than any corner in football. There's Gus Farad. Boy, they were booing Schuler last week here, weren't they? They booed him before he ever took a snap when he walked out on the field. Second down and 10. And Terry Allen is down to the 48-yard line where he picks up about three yards. It'll bring up third and long. Six-nothing here. Philadelphia on top. Right now for a McDonald's game break, let's go back to Hollywood, and here's James Brown. James? All right, Kevin, in the battle for first place in the NFC Central, it's Brett Favre who's been pressured heavily thus far, but he gets time here and locates Mark Ingram for the score. Brett Favre's league-leading 26 touchdown toss, and it's 7-0 Packers over Tampa Bay. Back to Washington, Kevin and Jerry. Packers are hot. They're playing well. Here's a third down and eight. Got to get inside the 42 of Philadelphia. Schuler, nice backpedaling catch made. Henry Ellert flagged down. Yards are good for a first down. The 31-yard line of Philadelphia on the pickup of 19. And we'll see what that flag is about. Good job by the rookie quarterback. The Eagles were coming with a blitz from the safety. Michael Zordich, the safety, looks like the... I don't think the head coach agrees with Red. Of course, I don't know anybody that does. Did you? Never! Cincinnati and Jacksonville playing today. Pass interference, number 16 on the offense. 10 yards, still third down. 16 is Jeff Query, who was picked up because the numbers have been so depleted by injury for the Redskins and Coach Norv Turner. There's the grab and push by the. Oh, man. You got to be kidding me. Well, I tell you what. I don't think an Eagle fan even wants to see that kind of a penalty <laughs> call. Norv Turner always puts that envelope up to his mouth so that the other sideline can't read lips. I would recommend he take the envelope down when he talks to Red Cashin. <laughs> Third down and 18 yards to go. Mitchell's in the backfield. Schuler hit, but he stays up and he throws the pass. And no flag thrown there as Orlando Truck. Now they throw two late flags back at the 37 yard line. Back near the line of scrimmage. Redskins again. The Eagles will decline and the Redskins will have to punt the ball for a second time in three possessions. Holding number 68 on the offense. That penalty is declined. It's fourth down. 68, Joe Patton. And, and Joe Patton is playing against Daniel Stubbs, which is a mismatch. You got a rookie on a veteran pass rusher. Here's the rookie. Put a hand up on his face is what he called it. Nowadays, the holding can also be a hand to the face. That's what it looked like. Redskins have the number one coverage team in the NFL. The Eagles are dead last in special teams. Rob Carpenter brought down. That's some of the coverage we're talking about inside 
The five, Daryl Pounds on a 52-yard punt. Flag has been thrown at the 27-yard line. What a nice punt hang time. He should have either he should have faked the fair catch or he should have went and blocked and let that go in the end zone. To take that ball there was suicide. This time the penalty is on the Philadelphia Eagles special teams. We just got done saying the coverage for the Redskins is as good as there is and the special teams for Ray Rhodes is as bad as you'll find in the NFL. That's a mismatch. So you think that could really help the Redskins along with running Illegal the ball. Block. Number 41 on the receiving team. Half the distance to the goal. First down at 10. That's a timeout. Early in the second quarter from Washington, the Eagles on a Ricky Waters touchdown run. Leading Washington. The holiday weekend. Hope all your Thanksgivings were enjoyable and very, very safe. With Jerry Glanville, Pam Oliver, Kevin Harlan from RFK Stadium. We're in the second quarter. 6-0 Eagles on top. And a great punt with tremendous coverage and a penalty. Uh, push the Eagles back to their own three with the first and ten. The pass to Jimmy Johnson. Played for the Redskins at one time, and he works his way for a gain of about eight. And it'll bring up second and short. James Washington makes the stop. Something brand new for the Eagles. They had Ed West in the backfield that everybody lined up improperly, and then they shift. This is the tight end. Watch all these people get up and move so that the Redskins are trying. There, look at the linebackers. Look at the DBs. Look at everybody running for the Redskins trying to bust their alignment before they snap the ball. That's how he ended up. Moving. Spreads them out. Spreads them out with a shift. Well, there was plenty of time on the clock at seven seconds when the ball was snapped, but they blew the whistle and stopped the play before it was allowed to begin. And that was the play they broke for the long distance against the Redskins the last time they played. Before the snap, false start. Number 69 on the offense. Five yards, still second out. 69 is Harry Boatswain who's taking the place of the injured Joe Panos, the right guard. And you look at Boatswain, Raleigh McKenzie, Guy McIntyre, pretty good. This is, there he goes. He left just a little bit early. Penalty pushes it back inside the Eagles seven. Second down and six. Waters and Garner now, the tandem in the backfield. Blocked by Ricky and Garner with no place to run and no place to hide. Loss of two on the play, knocked down at the five by Mark Boutte, number 93. What I liked about Boutte last week when the game was over and they were getting beat and the Seahawks had given them the defeat, Boutte kept playing. He's one guy that jumped out on the screen. When I was watching the film, he didn't care what the score was. He wanted to keep on trying to win something. He had a good game against Philadelphia back when they met earlier this season. Third down and eight from the five. Pete, oh, he's got the receiver, and it's good for a first down. Calvin Williams to the 16 with a pickup of 12. Spread out. We're seeing more of this with the Eagles. Nice quick slant throw. He's in the slot. Going to stand up and throw it. One, two, three, four, four wide outs. Watch the quarterback. One, two, gun it. A little bit of run and shoot look here, Kevin. The last time we had the Eagles, they started a little bit of it, and you see more and more of it all the time. Well, this offense under Rodney Pete slow to catch fire, but now they've got some continuity to what they've been trying to do this West Coast offense. First down and 10. Uh oh Waters has got to go the other way and Rodney Pete's going to give him a block. And a first down for Waters. He's already had one game today of 25 yards. That time Ricky Waters picks up 17 on his way to what is becoming a career year for the former 49 This was going to be just like the touchdown play. It was a lead draw here, and then he was going to bounce it. But this time, the corner hung out, so he brings it all the way back. There's the lead. Don't like it. Going for a touchdown? Nope. Everybody's over there. Get out of the woods. Go the other direction. And look at the quarterback. He's out there blocking, and he gets a first down to the 34-yard line. 6 nothing Philadelphia. the call is out to the 40 yard line and he picks up six on the play and the tackle made by Daryl Green Charlie Garner don't weigh him don't measure him 
He's a speed back. Everybody thinks all he can do is go outside. That time there's no hole. There's no place to go. And he gets a flat back, lowers his head, and moves the whole pile. Look at what he did last time against the Redskins. He Three broke the long ones. That, he, bro he broke the long ones at uh, that game. Now he's mad he's leaving the game. <laughs> so they shuttle him in and out. Waters is now back in the game. Charlie Garner has gone to the side. High pick out of Tennessee now in his second year. Second down and four for Pete. And the pass is caught by the tight end to make it Calvin Williams the receiver at the 42 yard line. Rod Stevens the leading Redskin tackler makes the stop and they got about a yard to go to the first down at the 44. They have the ball at the 43. Third and short they'll be substituting. They're, they're trying to decide whether they come with three tight ends or two tight ends. Now they're in there with two backs talking about the Eagles. And of course, your Redskins team, you got to match up. You got to match up with the type of personnel. Eagles are closing in on their 15th play of the game. They script the first 15 plays offensively every game. Well, after this play, they'll have to go to work. <laughs> Third down and one. Ricky Waters, first down. He knifes his way to the 49 yard line. A nice run. Are you surprised at the power and strength of Ricky Waters, coach? No. I'm surprised that why watch the lead. He's going to come up through there. I'm more surprised that Charlie Garner can go up through there and hit people and knock people around. This time it's James Saxton. They put the bigger guy to lead. Lead draw, you call this. Follow the other back. There's 22. They'll run this with Charlie Garner in the game, and Garner will make those blocks. You know, the real surprise is the attitude of the team. The attitude has been adopted and permeated through the head coach. And 10 there goes a flag and Waters has no place to go thrown for a yard loss Ken Harvey had great penetration 57 and gets up penalties against the Eagles the lead on a Waters nine yard touchdown run Ray Road seven and four in his first year they've won six of seven this team beginning to reflect his personality Holding number 78 on the offense 10 yards still first down Anton Davis number 78 the right tackle Over half of this roster is new for the Eagles, and Ray Rhodes has brought them all together nicely. Watch 78 on your screen. He's got a hook on. He's got his left arm around the throat, but he did let him go. He had Tony Woods for a little while, and he thought it was safe. He, let, he took his arm off him. Eighth play for quarterback Rodney Pete. They began back at their three. First down and 20 now. Four well, wideouts in there again, Kevin. Rodney Pete, a little bit out of the reach of wide receiver Chris T. Jones, the rookie from Miami. Scott Turner was covering on the sideline. It'll be second long. This is called a whip. A whip is you start inside and you whip it back. You start inside like a slant, and then you whip it and you come back out. Watch the whip by the outside, down inside. Whip, come on back out. Couldn't put the ball on. Whip it good. Whip it. Second down and 20, 6 0. The Eagles, 8 27 remaining in the first half. Somebody knew a girl. May have been Carpenter. Wow, I wonder how many penalties we've had so far. We, they're adding up too, aren't they? Five on the Eagles so far in the game, and Before for the Redskins. The snap, false start, number two. 63 on the offense. Five yards, still second down. 63, Raleigh McKenzie. You think he is a nice foundation for this team, the former Redskin, Raleigh McKenzie. And some of the uh, offensive linemen that we talked to on the Redskins still say this is the guy they miss. And Raleigh McKenzie was so good for the Redskins, they never wanted to lose him. Now second down and 25. They're back all the way to Cherry Hills, it seems now, the single team. Pete hit as he throws, pass incomplete, pass interference called on Scott Turner oh. guarding Ricky Waters. The pass wouldn't have been completed because no, Pete was gobbled up by the Redskin defense. The Redskins are trying to claim a tip ball, but I don't think it did get tipped. But he had no chance to catch it. The only way they could not call the penalty is rule it on catch it. And it would have been third and a mile. Pressure on the quarterback. Pass interference, number 29 on the offense. First down. 
29 on the defense. Defense is this turn. Red's getting a little confused here. Watch <laughs> the pressure. He, he held the ball a while, and that gave Sterling uh, Palmer time to get there. Oh man, uncatchable too. Ball was not tipped. It was just a bad throw. Nonetheless, first down and ten for the Eagles. Eight minutes remaining in the first half from Washington. More wideouts again, too, Kevin. Rodney Pete and the ball tipped and almost intercepted. Chris T. Jones again in the sights of quarterback Rodney Pete. Incomplete pass. It'll be second down and ten. You get pressure on the quarterback when there's no tight ends. When everybody is, is spread out. That allows these corners to be shorter with the defensive ends. I'm kind of surprised that the Eagles would get away from that running game, which is what's carried them. Now with this formation, they'll come back to it. Tenth play of the drive upcoming now. Second down and 10 yards to go at the 38. Pete, Ricky Waters, he has to get out to the 48, and he gets to the 42. So they got third and six coming up. Marcus Patton is there with the stop. Marcus has not missed a defensive play all season long. And you, you got to like the Redskins right now, and they're chasing, they're hustling, they're after them. And I think that can continue if the Redskins' offense stays with running the football. Don't wear your defense out with three passes and a punt. They played well defensively against Kansas City and played well last week in three quarters against Seattle. And then the turnovers kill your defensive team. So right now, they're into this ballgame. They're doing a good job. Defense has their dime package in the game. Third down and six for Rodney Peake. Good block by Waters, but here they come and down goes Peake. The first sack today at the 33, and Tim Johnson with the knockdown. Harvey assisted him. It's a four-man line, but they're twisting and looping. Only four are going to come, but you're going to see people coming from every direction out of the four. The tackles are twisting. 98 and 78. They switched assignments. Tony Woods coming up through there. Here's the punt. Hutton gets it deep. And the number one punt returner in the NFL, Brian Mitchell, to the 31-yard line. A 36-yard punt. So, again, the Redskins will get good beginning field position. The defense is keeping them in the game. Defense and the Eagles have a Ricky Waters touchdown run. They missed the extra point. Well, next week on Fox NFL Sunday, it's a tough interconference matchup as the Falcons take on the Dolphins. And the Redskins battle the Cowboys in a clash between NFC East rivals, plus other exciting doubleheader action, including the New England Patriots in New Orleans. It all begins at noon Eastern, 9 a.m. Pacific, right here on Fox. With Pam Oliver, Jerry Glanville, Kevin Harlan from RFK Stadium, look what the Redskins have done on first down today. And they have to do that to win this football game. They can't the throw any interceptions. Here's what you got to do. Terry Allen. To the 43, a great block by Gisek and a first down run of 13 yards. This may be the best game plan I've seen the Redskins have when you're starting an inexperienced quarterback. They're not putting the pressure on a Gus Farad or a Heath Shuler. Here's a jab counter. Follow the guards running up through there. And Terry Allen is off to a great start, averaging over five yards of carry. This afternoon, first down and 10 yards to go from the 44. Allen again. And he digs his way to the 49. Picks up five. Greg Jackson finally brought him down. Nice block by the tight end, James Jenkins, on the run. And the Redskins brought a tight end in motion. They, they, they uh, rather than the guard, they're getting him with all the tools and weapons they got on him. But it ends up, Allen has to end up with the ball. For them to win, when the play's over, Allen's got to have the ball and outrush him, take take the uh, uh, the running game away from the Eagles by you running the ball yourself. 11 rushing attempts for Terry Allen and 10 for Thunder and Lightning. Second down five. Allen for a third consecutive time and he staggers with a face mask thrown at the tackle. He's down to the 48. Michael Zordich was the guy making the stop. They've thrown a lot of flags already. Eight in the game, five against the Eagles and two against the Redskins. Face mask, as we call, that's the sixth now against Philadelphia and a first down for the Washington Redskins. Face mask, number 36, five yards on the defense. 
First down! First down! Now the Redskins cannot get bored with all this success. Don't think you have to throw it for people to fall in love with you. Keep doing it. Stay with the game plan. Six. Stick with your knit. You, you knit me a sweater for Christmas. That's what they gotta do today. My sleeves are too long. <laughs> First down and ten. Schuler. Oh, and he scrambles to buy time. He's got to get to the 33. Schuler collides with two defenders, Harmon and Romanowski, at the 37-yard line. But he gets a nice game. And he knocked Romanowski backwards. Not many quarterbacks. He actually flat backs, gets his pads under Romanowski's pads. Well, Romanowski going to take heat in this in the film room. You never let a quarterback or a punter or a kicker run over you. It's almost illegal. Watch his flat back. Pad under pad. Boom. I guess he was getting a little help from the other guy hit. Second down and five. Terry Allen has been the workhorse on this drive. Submarines near the 35 and about two yards shy of the first down. William Thomas makes the stop. Allen coming from the Minnesota Vikings. He was not happy with the contract offer they made him. Signs for the Redskins $450,000 offer, and he has been great. Although he has not had a 100-yard game, Jerry, in the last six, he still is the guy that you think they need to go to today. It's hard to get a 100-yard game when you're throwing the ball so much like they have with Gus. Now the play selection has changed, and you find out you got a pretty good back. This is a big conversion for him on this third down. Third down and two. Nothing doing. Big hit by Zorich, helped out by Gavea, the former Redskin. Now, an interesting call with 3.50 and the clock ticking here in the second quarter. Do you go for it on fourth down and three, or do you punt the ball? And they're going to go for it. Eric Turner is going to go for it. And when you, you, you do this game, Kurt Gavea comes up, Zorich comes up. All these two guys are our workhorses that make plays when you got to make them. Gavea is probably our Redskin. That uh, Washington wish they never lost. All he does is get better. Big fourth down play. A long two. Fourth down. They got to get to the 33. Sure. And he is down. Does not get the first down. That girl, he got it beyond the line of scrimmage. He's to the 35. Mark Woodard brought him down. It is not a sack. And on a change of downs, it will go back to. Philadelphia. Well, here's our AFLAC trivia question today. When was the last time the Redskins suffered three consecutive losing seasons? Our answer is on deck. When was the last time the Redskins suffered three consecutive losing seasons? And the answer? Well, they actually had nine consecutive losing seasons from 1957 to 1965. I'll tell you what, though, they still sell this place out. This in Kansas City may be the best two places to watch NFL football. Great fans, great atmosphere. My favorite was Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland right up there, too. First down and 10. Little screen pass. Charlie Gardner, nice pursuit. Now the Redskin defense, Tim Johnson chased him out of bounds. A loss of a couple on the play. And Jerry, the first quarter all season long for the Eagles has been a good one. They've scored well. In fact, the second quarter hasn't been too bad either. But halftime on this team has struggled well today first quarter they play well they've struggled here in the second and who knows what's going to happen in the third and fourth quarter here it may go back to their scripting the 15 plays including everybody in those 15 plays and the, after that they sort of fall off maybe they had a script 30 plays or 40 plays maybe that would make them better the whole game second out of 12 I like the idea Ricky Waters he doesn't quit, does he? Out to the 42-yard line. He picks up a nice bundle on the play of eight yards. Stanley Richard finally made the stop on Rookie Waters, who's off to a great start. Of course, he had a great game against Philadelphia for Philadelphia against Washington earlier this season. 139 yards on the ground. And look at Big 76. That's a rookie tackle. Brooks coming up through there. And Waters just won't surrender. He's the thunder. He says, you can't get thunder down. He's had a big day so far. 75 yards on eight carries. He's in the backfield now. Third down and four. They got to get out to the 46. Rodney Pete. Harvey. Swallowed by Ken Harvey. His fifth sack of the season. Eagles have got a punt. 
when they get third and long, Harvey, the linebacker, usually becomes the right defensive end in a third and long play. So he usually comes over to that side. There he is on the shoulder drive. He dipped and went right by. We went and bragged on that rookie tackle. Brooks, the play before, and the, he comes back. He can't block Harvey this time. Two-minute warning. Sony Mac Eagles to punt for a third time in four possessions. Another rocket sent downfield by Hutton. On the 15-yard line, Brian Mitchell. All he can carve out of the great coverage that time by the Eagles is five yards. A 45-yard punt. Jimmy Johnson makes the stop. So the Redskins will have it for the final 148. The touchdown run. They're on top 6 to nothing. Well, this Tuesday, Fox presents The Price of Love. A world premiere motion picture about young people trying to survive on the streets any way they can. TV Guy calls it excellent. People Magazine raves. This is the TV movie format at its best. Watch The Price of Love this Tuesday on Fox. Heath Shula right now wondering what is the price of fame. He makes 19 million a year. He has been booed and vilified in this city. He had the two week holdout when he was a rookie. The fans have forgiven him since. Brian Mitchell in the backfield. First down and 10 yards to go for Shula. He carries a pass caught by Mitchell. He's at the 23 and he picks up three yards. Jerome Henderson brings him down. Two-minute offense now in effect, but they do call a timeout. And it is charged to the Eagles. They burn their first to the half. And the Eagles are playing to get the ball back again. If you're a Redskin fan, you have to be careful Getting out 6-0 is better than doing something foolish on your side to 50. So I think they have to come back here and run the football, and get a first down, get up field farther before they go on. You don't try to win the game here right before the half and get yourself down farther than what you already are. North Turner made the switch and took out Gus Ferrat, and he was asked why. He said, well, the last couple games he's thrown for 32 percent, 43 percent. He was basically just been ineffective the last two three games only one touchdown six interceptions and so they make the switch in the middle of last week's game and go with Heath Shuler who Jerry I think the common feeling is here in Washington that they will continue with Shuler the rest of the way and find out what they got they know what they've got from Farad now they want to see what they got from their second year quarterback Shuler but I think they've also switched the game plan I think when they went with Shuler they went back to the running attack Second down five, here they run the ball. Brian Mitchell, the former college quarterback, out past the 45. Now go try to get points, Kevin. Now everything changes. Now line up and try to get points if you're the Redskins. Try not to get yourself in a sack situation. You contend by running the ball gives Schuler confidence and a better feel for the game. Don't put the pressure that he's got to win it. Let the Redskins go win it. Leaping catch by Mitchell. He's out of bounds and to midfield, and he picks up four on first down. The clock has stopped with 109. The Eagles lead it six to nothing over the Redskins. Ryan Mitchell's a tremendous player, very versatile out of the backfield. We know what he can do as a kick returner, but some people say maybe they should use him more out of the backfield on plays like we just saw. Well, you take a little flair, you know, like a punt return in space with people one on one, he can make that guy miss. There's the leading sacker for the Eagles. Andy Harmon just signed a big new contract a couple weeks ago. Second down and six for Schuler. Longest pass of the day is a completion to the 32. Olanda Truitt, who is waived on the final cut by the Redskins, then re-signed by Washington. They found him down in Alabama selling cars. Chevrolets and Geos. That time he just sold a nice pass route to Heath Schuler. Gets the first down and great penetration. The Redskins are on the move just before halftime. A.B. Terry Howie and Jimmy, they'll bring you all the scores and highlights from a busy day in the NFL. And don't miss the very best of the NFL Foxes. NFL Sunday Choice Cuts all coming up next on the Doctors Halftime. From the Philadelphia 30, Schuler. A little bit low and incomplete and looking for Henry Ellard who's been quiet in the first half. It'll be second down and ten. When you hurry things a little bit low you're being real kind. Real low hurried it through a dirt ball. Everything is speeded up for him. This is not practice. 
So he went back so fast and threw it so quick it didn't go where he wanted to. Maybe the biggest number there is one you don't see. No interceptions yet. And he's only been sacked once. That's that's what you got when you play the Eagles. Stay away from sacks. Man, eight. Man, eight. Second down and ten. Sure, look out from behind and down he goes. He's sacked for a second time today. This time gobbled up by William Fuller. His seventh sack of the season. And you have to run the ball this time to get in field goal. I think you got to be careful on this next play. This here gets you out of field goal. And field goal is real big if you can go in there 6-3. Nice sack by the Eagles. This time I would run the football. I'd run the ball and try to work it up through there so you got an easier kick. But the way the back's lined up, it looks like a throw. Both teams with two timeouts. Third down and 12 for Heeshul. Good time. Another pass. And it's almost picked off. By not one, not two, but almost three different Eagles had a chance to grab it. It's an incomplete pass by quarterback Heath Schuh. And here I think you leave a long kick for an old kicker. Because you try this, you've got a tired leg on a long distance phone call. <laughs> you know, you gotta help your team. You gotta you gotta nerf it up there a little bit. You know, get four yards and this kicker looks better. Eddie Murray. They'll try a 50 yarder. We're just before the half. He has already missed today from 42 yards away. And Murray will not have the distance. Just missed it by about three yards. 21 seconds left. The Redskins can't get on the board. The Eagles hold on to a 6 0 lead. Bounds he goes, and the clock. Is stopped with 15 seconds remaining in the first half. You see, now they get the ball at the 40 yard line to begin the drive. Well, they, for them to do anything, they'll be a little more wide open than the uh, than the Redskins have to be. He, he could go throw a dig, he could go throw a center. A dig in a center. You know, you got you got something open in there like a 22 yard dig. Just dig it on through there. What is a dig? Yeah, uh, it's it's like a, a, a crossing pattern. So you dig into that middle of the defense. Yeah, and you let your, let your body hang out. Second down there it is with 89. And the there pass is. almost picked off by a couple different Redskins. Stanley Richard was in the vicinity, and the pass is incomplete. How'd you know that? 81. He didn't, he must, he didn't like it. I liked it, and the Eagles coaches liked it, but when he broke in there, I could tell. Williams says, whoever's calling this dig, I don't like it. He didn't like going in there. <laughs> Only the coaches get to make those calls without having to go in there. Now, he, he felt 20. He goes, ah, I don't really Ooh. want that thing. Kind of uh, alligator armed it there a little yeah, bit. Yeah, boy. Us coaches could always call them plays because we don't go in there and go catch them. That's right. Calvin Williams was the receiver in the sights of Rodney Pete, who now has a third down and nine. Williams is in motion, and Pete will drop back the throw with a heavy rush, and he scrambles out of it again. Throws downfield pass caught first down by the tumbling Rob Carpenter to the 45. And a Redskin player is down back at the 30. It's a pickup of 14 yards on the play. And no time remains on the first half clock as Tony Woods is down. What you do, you get your team down the tunnel. Make them come get you. Norv doesn't know this. You get the Redskins and you run off the field. Be sure they call it over with. Get them off there, Norv. Yeah. Well, we are at halftime officially. Redskins played well defensively, in particular in the second quarter. And for Ray Rhodes, again, the question's got to come up. Why they can't put away teams they are supposed to beat. And the Eagles were favored against the Redskins today. But last week, the Giants hung in there, and the Eagles were heavily favored. Here, the Redskins are hanging in against an Eagle team again that was favored on this Sunday. That's the end of the first half with the score. 6-0 Philadelphia. Dockers halftime is on deck after this. Philadelphia. And our second half is underway. On a hop, Charlie Garner near the 10, and with some blocking ahead, Charlie Garner. With the special teams being maligned all season long, they've come up with a couple plays back to back that have been pretty good. They had nice coverage on a punt late in the first half, and Charlie Garner comes back with a nice return of 38 yards. And out of the half and through the first 30 minutes of this game, here are the numbers between the Eagles and the Redskins. This is what surprises probably most people, that they have 21 rushes, which we said they had to have over the Eagles 11. 
but the Eagles rushing game they have to go back and run the football season long return for Philadelphia and Charlie Garner best starting position of the day from the 48 Garner's in the backfield and Charlie Garner rockets up the middle and gets a quick gain of eight slashing his way to the 43. For some reason they got away from that running game and you got to remember they're going against a defense that's not real good against the rush and they sort of drifted away from it maybe with the four wide outs in the new formations you got to go back and do what you do best and if you're an Eagle fan you want to see the Eagles run the football. Second out and two. Garner again got a block has to get inside the 42 that'll be very close as William Gaines shut the door for the Redskin defense. They're back now with the two tight ends and the two wide they're back running the formations which is giving them those wins. A couple weeks ago against Denver they fooled the Broncos defensively by running the same play but out of different formations. And then we had that game uh, uh, where they came out and played those four wideouts and four wideouts and and uh, really unsettled uh, the team for a while. But they went back to their base. So far, they haven't got back to their base offense. And they'll be short of the first down by a little bit more than the nose of the football here. Just nice seconds into the third quarter. Nice signal there by Ray. Did you see how he held the finger and the thumb up? <laughs> He, he, he sort of gave you two inches, I'd say, that was red. They'll bring Saxon in and take Garner out, joining Waters. Saxon, the former chief in Miami Dolphin, is about 25 pounds heavier. So as a blocking fullback, he's got some muscle to shoot up the middle. And the coach said he likes him going up there, that he can scatter the big guy. Third and less than a yard. They give it to Saxon. And he submarines near the 42. It'll be close. Depending on the spot, the middle of that line getting a hand on James Saxon. He had such a short distance. Although the, 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 uh, the Redskins are celebrating. Everybody thinks they won this. Nottage was in there, 92. Ray Rhodes, five championship rings with San Francisco and the fourth choice of owner Jeffrey Lure to take over and maybe the best of all the group they were looking at. Dick Vermeil, Jimmy Johnson. They were looking at Jimmy Johnson. Yes. I thought he was playing tight end. Uh, not that Jimmy Johnson. Oh, the other Jimmy. Yes. <laughs> the one that gets to work with James Brown. Yes. Our buddy. And short again. It's more short. But they went backwards on that one. Ray Rhodes going to go for it. Would you? No. You'd punt. I'd punt. And that's why I'm here. And he's down there up for coach of the year. Fourth down in the length of the football. On the opening drive of the second half. Waters will be by himself in the backfield. Double tight ends, West and Jimmy Johnson. Rodney Pete takes it, and he should have enough for a first down as he got inside the 42-yard line. Good surge, and he is a good sneak quarterback. Some elongated quarterbacks don't run the sneak real good. You're real tall, 6'5". I see those guys. It looks like a gooseneck going up to them. And he's only at 85% today. And there's Ron Lynn, the defensive coordinator for the Redskins. And he's been doing a good job in trying to piece this thing back together. And he's getting help today because the offense for his team is running the ball, not leaving his guys hang out there. And he's tired. And cold. <laughs> there's Red. He's real good friends with Pete. <laughs> Said I talked to your dad yesterday. Or last week I had the Chicago game. He didn't holler first down like you do. Well, Red didn't holler. He might. But they do get the first down, and the Eagles take the opening kickoff of the second half inside the 42-yard line. And Norv Turner hoping that his defense continues to play as well as it played in the second quarter against Philadelphia, which basically shut him down. They got a lot of pressure on Pete. Here's a first down and 10 with Gardner in the backfield and Waters on the move. 
knocked down by Tim Johnson. Great penetration. So he's belted back, and we're going to go back to Hollywood for this McDonald's game break. And let's go to James Brown. All right, Kevin, Packers virtually undefeated at home, 14-1. Yes, indeed, and Dorsey Levins takes it across, capping the drive for the Packers, who lead it 21-10. And let's take it back to Kevin and Jerry. Dorsey Levins, who began at Notre Dame, transferred to Georgia Tech, and has been kind of waiting in the wings up in Green Bay, and they're using him a lot more this year. And Mike Holmgren offense, they get a nice lead. The Packers do over Tampa Bay at the half. Here's second down and 12, just inside the 45. Almost picked off, incomplete. Knocked down by Rod Stevens, the former Seattle Seahawk, a pass intended for former Packer, Ed West. Watch the motion's going to go past the tight end. Here's the tight end, and the linebacker's got to take the inside cuts of Y. Jump it, jump it. There, oh, nice swat with his right hand, Rod Stevens. Y is the tight end, so he'll be coached. You go to the inside cut of Y. Rodney Pete today. Third down and 12. They're coming at him again, and it's picked off this time, intercepted by Daryl Pounds. The rookie has his first career interception and then it's fumbled away and the Eagles get it back and Fred Barnett cradles it. And that gives him a first and ten for the Eagles. Good pressure on the quarterback. Boy, Pounds has got good speed. He's just got to hang on the ball. Watch the pressure on Rodney Pete. Boom! Hits him right from the side. Ken Harvey. Now 31 is impressive with his speed. He can accelerate and run. But you're not in college. You don't run down the middle of the field. When you intercept, you go to the sideline like a punt return. Look where he is. He's between the hashes. And the, the quarterback knocked it free. And see, everybody comes from all sides. When you intercept in pro football, you go to the sideline. That counts as a possession. So to the 42-yard line, back it goes. First and 10 in Ricky Waters. Tumbles He's a guy. to the 47-yard line. Dexter Nottage was making the stop. And I love the umpire. You hear him howl, easy guy, easy guys, quit hitting them. Well, the way the Redskins are, you got to keep it. You got to gang tackle. Now, they can't let their spirit get down because they lost the interception, Kevin. They got to still rear up on their hind legs and kick. Ricky Waters, fourth in NFC rushing, fourth in NFL total yards. Great third down back. We haven't seen much today, but his blocking game is what he's taken a lot of pride in. He says he's blocking better now than ever before. Six and he gets some blocking and goes head first into the Redskins and out to the 50 yard line before he is brought down by Marvkus Patton and Rich Owens, the rookie. Now they're back to two tights, two wideouts, which means Guy McIntyre, the guard, will lead the play. They're back to their basic formations. They're not trying to trick the Redskins, they're running at them, and that's what they have to look at them, not the Redskins around. Eagles came into today, seven and four. And Ray Rhodes says that seven win mark is just a tease right now. It's not, it's not anything for this team. It has no meaning at all unless we win today against the Redskins. Third down, short, Pete, and a fumble, and it's recovered by the center and the former Redskin, Raleigh McKenzie. It was like, it was like a horse galloping to the loose ball. There's they, McKenzie. They got to punt it. You got to be proud of both teams. This is a this is a fight. They swat that ball out of there, and Reggie jumped on it like a wild horse. Hutton booms it high. Mitchell from the 12-yard line. We'll give it to Washington for the first time in the second half. Five minutes gone in the third quarter. Goes ahead to punt again, and now the ball is up to the 18-yard line. That's a 36-yard punt and a better advantage for the Redskins. Schuler and the offense of North Turner will get it for the first time in the second half. Washington, D.C., and right now they've got a current exhibit from Winslow Homer, who was a famous American painter in the 19th century, and many... Great things to see for families and individuals alike here in the nation's capital on a 
sunny day as you see Terry Allen the sun has been shining on him he's carried the ball well today for the Redskins he has 14 we say for the Redskins to win his total has to be more than Waters and Garner's total and then the Redskins can win this football game Gus Ferrat taken out last week because of ineffective play and they know what he can do he is the fan favorite they booed lustily last week against Seattle when Keith Schuler was brought in the game. In fact, Gus was so mad about his second interception last week, that Jerry, he took his helmet and threw it against the bench, and he bent the face mask, which he's holding on to right there, and he had to go back in and hold for an extra point later in the game, and the helmet was all screwed up. <laughs> First down and 10 from the 20. There's Terry Allen, bulldozing his way for four, and he's out to the 24-yard line before Zordich got a hand on him, and also Gavea. On the defense for the number three defense in the NFL, the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Redskins are controlling the tempo with the run on first down. With this much yardage they've gained, they can run again on second down. Second down and six for Heath Schuler has not thrown an interception today. Schuler. Truitt was double teamed and jousting with him was Jackson 47 incomplete pass. And this is a tough throw. This is a slim post corner. He'll start. He'll start inside. This is a long throw because the ball's on the hash all the way away from him and he breaks for the out. There's the car salesman being double. What if he got double teamed when he was trying to sell those geos. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder how many he sold. Said he was doing good, but what's amazing is the dealership sold eight, eight cars after he left that he started the deal on. He needs a commission on those eight cents. <laughs> Third down and six for Heath Schuler. And down he goes. Sacked right there by Daniel Stubbs. Third sack today by the Philadelphia defense after sacking the Giants eight times last week at the vet. And that's the problem. If you're going to go throw, Stubbs is a mismatch against a rookie. Joe Patton he has two chances slim and none as he comes right through the inside turns him around Joe Patton this is his first year he, you know he shouldn't be starting yet not against Daniel Stubbs who you know didn't even play last year he took a year off but could still push the court. Turk with a punt fair catch Rob Carpenter it's going to give the Eagles good field possession on their second possession of the second half. 37 yard punt. Eagles holding on to a 6 0 lead. New Eagle quarterback Randall Cunningham, like last week against the Giants at Veterans Stadium, has come in. Rodney Pete is out of the game, and we thought Cunningham looked very good last week in relief of Pete. And in the pregame warm up, my assignment, I studied and watched Cunningham in the pregame warm up, and he was throwing the ball better than anybody was in the pregame warm up. We'll find out why they made the quarterback change after this from Pam Oliver. First down and 10 for Randall Cunningham. Oh, nobody's open. Cunningham, this is what he does so well. He offers a run of about four yards when he should have been sacked back behind the 40. Rod Stevens finally got a hold of him. And for the story of Cunningham and Pete, let's go downstairs to Pam Oliver. Well, why Rodney Pete has been taken out of, the, out of this game is a bit of a mystery. What the Eagles are telling us, it is a coach's decision. Now, that probably has something to do with that injury of his. He's been having to scramble quite a bit, and that's the last thing they wanted. If you want a scrambling quarterback, who other than Randall Cunningham for that? Back to you. All right, then I want to ask one more question here. Second down and six from the 44. Ricky Waters to weave his way and picks up a couple yards it'll bring up third and three Pam do you see Pete down there hobbling it all with that that hip flexor uh, actually I am on the wrong side of the field at the moment um no actually I don't guys I'm gonna have to switch sides all right we'll try to get an update on that too but coach's decision so far that's why Rodney Pete every game we've done the Eagles they've taken him out and put in Cunningham well I, I don't know they could be mad when he threw that interception that the ball came back to him and, but uh Anyway, this guy threw good last week. Cunningham threw good last week and threw excellent in the pregame warm-up and threw terrible there. On a third and three, can't find West after the fake to Waters, and the Eagles are going to have to punt the ball for a second consecutive time. I, I, that there is just too much. They faked the counter trade, pulled all the linemen, faked that, came back around, looked for the bootleg. 
man they're getting too complicated sometimes when things aren't going good throw away your great ideas and go back to what you do and for the Eagles that's wrong over people. Fifth punt and eight possessions for the Eagles and Brian Mitchell calls a late fair catch and it's finally whacked at the 15 and a 37 yard punt by Hutton and I'm just wondering if uh, the referees are going to give the Eagles the benefit of the doubt in yeah. that with a nice hit put on him by Sylvester Wright. You got I don't think his hand went above his belt buckle so that's that's hard to call a fair catch. But talking about it no there is no oh now the penalty flags come out now the penalty flags are thrown all over the place. But he's got to give Jerry full warning for the oncoming Eagles who by the way today have tried to bolster their special teams by adding four linebackers instead of the previous two to their coverage teams. They got to give them more notice and they are what well, the, the rules say the hand Inbound goes above the head. Well, you know number 30 of the receivers five yard penalty first and ten. That's a timeout. The rule says the hand has to go above the head and when you look at our replay if it's above the head it's only by an inch. Redskins will get it when we come back to RFK. Punted to the Redskins and the top punt returner in the NFL, Brian Mitchell. Too late and not high enough with the hand. That's the penalty. And 52. Wow, what a good job. And the Eagles, as you've said, their coverage teams are better than they've ever been today. They've added the linebackers. In fact, they cut a guy last week because he wasn't spe playing special teams. That was uh, Greg Tremble. Told Tremble either get down there and cover or get home. James Willis taking his place on special teams. There's down in 10. And a quarterback bootleg out to the 15 yard line and a four yard gain goes. Heath Schuler finally brought down by William Thomas, the linebacker for Philadelphia. This, this is an unusual call. I wonder if he missed the handoff or if they're trying to kill this guy off. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was a fake and I think it was a design play. Well, and the ball come out? Sure does. You don't run that with a $15 million quarterback. You want somebody to run that, give that to some stiff that you're just taking a look at. They're paying him $19 million. Well, 15 it would have been a better call. Second down and four. He one hops it to the receiver, Henry Ellard, who's had just his second pass thrown to him today. Now the boos cascading down from the upper deck onto shoot. Well, when you hear those boos, you just got to close your ears. Is that what you tell a quarterback? 15 pass plays, been sacked three times, knocked down four times, and hurried three. That's 10 out of 15. He's had five shots out of this whole thing to throw a completion. Bo Garrett and crew keeping track trucks downstairs in the truck. It'll bring up a third and four, and they're very vocal here at RFK with regard to the quarterback situation. Brian Mitchell, Shortage, can't get him down. And the gain is to the 29, and good for a first down. And a, Chicago and the Giants have a good game going on at the Meadowlands and Green Bay leading in the third quarter. And a nice call again to help the young quarterback. Third down and long, flip it out to Mitchell. You said earlier he can run other plays other than uh, returning kicks, and they're back in first and ten and help the young guy. Redskins on every possession in the first half for into Philadelphia territory. And they do it in the second. Nice underneath pattern thrown. Brian Mitchell out to the 33. They get Terry Allen with the catch. And the tackle made by William Thomas. He's better, it seems, Jerry, on those very short, small passes. Well, that's what you're calling for at halftime. You are going to be a general manager. At halftime, my buddy said, throw those little short things over the set. You're getting good at this. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now run this thing. Run this thing for this guy. Green is six on that previous play. Second down and four. Allen tumbling for the first down to the 40 yard line. And running behind Ray Brown. Look at Ray Brown, 67. All he does is block. He's an interesting story. When he goes to surgery, he wakes up in the middle of surgery. They're while, while, while they're cutting up. They're operating on the thumb. And he sat up and looked around. He says, look at him block there. 67 got one and came off and got the second one. What he did he woke, say? He got up and says, is that my thumb you're operating on? Went into knee surgery. Woke up in the middle of knee surgery. I think he weighs too much to be put to sleep. First down and 10. Underneath again. And it goes to Allen to the 48. 
Innovate on the play. Schuler had missed his last four. He's hit his last two, and he seems to be picking up some momentum here. We're late in the third quarter in Washington. Well, the previous before these two was a deep OH, deep out route off the hash. And like you called for, a little dunk over the middle. Give him something little he can get out in a hurry so you don't get sacked against an excellent pass rushing defense of the Eagles. Good looking drive, too. Seventh play of it. Second down and three. Allen once again. No place to go that time. All over from Bill Romanowski. And a knockdown back at the 43. He started one way and it wasn't there and sometimes you got to slam it in there and just take a one yard loss don't go wiggle around and take a big loss he got there before the blocking back Mark Logan didn't get in in front of him so he was he was without a lead blocker that's what happened on that play third down and six Deep drop back by Schuler and it comes the pass, which is tapped by Jerome Henderson. Before I got to the side, and I see a flag thrown back at the 32. That's where you find uh, hitting the quarterback. Or holding. <laughs> we found holding. <laughs> holding. Number 67 on the offense. That penalty is declined. It's fourth down. He woke up right in the middle of the surgery and saw this penalty. <laughs> Ray Brown. Ray Brown. And Ray Brown and the right tackle. The right tackle, Ed Simmons must be doing a heck of a job because I haven't seen William Fuller back there yet. A long throw off the right hash to the deep out route on the left side. That's a long throw. Wow. So, second consecutive Redskin punt. Fair catch back at the nine by Rob Carpenter, and that's a punt of 47 yards. The Eagles will get it, 326 in the third. Area for an update on Rodney Pete down to the sideline and Pam Oliver. Well, Kevin, again, they're sticking to the story here that it's a coach's decision, but watching Rodney Pete, he seemed awfully ticked. He didn't seem so much hurt as he seemed ticked about something. It was interesting to watch uh, the running backs, the starting running backs. They were over by Rodney and stand, instead of Randall Cunningham asking him what's going on and why isn't he in the game. Back to you. Good point, Pam, on a game that time of a handful by Ricky Waters. When we were talking with Waters and Charlie Garner yesterday, Rodney Pete came in, and you could tell there was a... A great camaraderie among the three. A feeling that they're all for each other. They all want to win. But the Eagles in the second half have averaged less than two yards a play. So there's not much happening on the offense. So maybe they're trying to just shake it up and spark it here a little bit. So Cunningham, second down and seven yards to go from his 13-yard line. And the throw knocked away and almost caught by Calvin Williams after a great knock away by Daryl Green, the cornerback. This throw was a little bit behind, but Green looked like the old Green. Darrell Green made the play. It's a play action fake, so there's not a lot of pressure. Has plenty of time to wait for it. And the throw was a little bit behind, and Green made a nice play with his right hand. Eagles have a third and seven right now. They have missed their last four third downs. As we told you before, this is a team which struggles in the second half scoring. And Cunningham has Williams drop the pass at the 26-yard line, and so the Eagles have got a punt for a third consecutive time here in the second half. The ball's right on the money. He put the ball right between the eight and the nine. Calvin Williams, if he didn't deflect it, would have had to go to surgery. you got to catch those. And he sees the drop. Less than two yards of play for the Eagles the entire second half. Hutton to punt. No rush put on. They're setting up the return for Brian Mitchell on the 41-yard line. And the special teams of the Eagles continue to play well. Derek Oden with the stop on the punt of 46 yards. They only allow Mitchell, the top guy in the NFL, one yard on the return. Penalties. Well, Danny Smith there could probably rest a little bit easier, but another 
penalty against the Eagles special teams. A legal man downfield, so wipes away that great coverage, and they got a punt again. And the man was Jimmy Johnson. He's supposed to be over there working with James Brown in Hollywood. He's downfield too soon. <laughs> Hutton again. Oh, this will be much better for the Redskins. It hung high. Mitchell to midfield and still moving to the 47 yard line of Philadelphia. So that was a nice move by the Redskins return man Brian Mitchell. Brian Mitchell. Watch Mitchell's second effort and dig for every yard. He pulls that foot out, gets a block, turns up field. And a little activity when the games are. This is the Eagles Redskins. Take that ball for it. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> and watch it and have a little dressing. Get the turkey out of your Get mouth. Get your turkey right there. Got a drumstick in there. This is an unusual series. The Eagles come to this game on a bus. They don't even get in an airplane. This rivalry is so close. You get you get to play like you're in, you know, uh, a high school again. You get on the bus, load up. No airplane ride. And when the game's over, the players get to go home with whoever they want to go home. Very unusual. In the NFL, they don't leave as a team. Some guys are getting limousines to go back to Philadelphia. Best beginning field position today for the Redskins, and Mark Logan is sent up the middle and finds a yard to the 46-yard line. But this again, Jerry, for Eagle fans, is something that has been stuck in their craw throughout the season. Teams they are favored to beat hang in there against an Eagle team that you think would wipe them away. Well, the Redskins are keeping William Fuller from getting a sack, Andy Harmon from getting a sack, Daniel Stubbs from forcing an interception. So it's the Redskins are keeping the, the turnover in the short field away from the Eagles offense with their play selection. Second out of nine for Schuler again over the middle. This time he's got the receiver. Rookie Jamie Asher first down to the 27 yard line and a pickup of 19. And the best throw I've seen the young guy make. This was a good throw. The ball's turned over and he told us in the meeting he likes Jamie Asher. He thinks he's a player. And where does his best throw go to? Jamie Asher, he makes a catch, makes a stumble, makes a get up and run, you're in pro ball. But that's an, in our meetings, that's the guy I like. First tight end catch by a Redskin today. First and 10. This time he goes underneath and it's caught by Terry Allen. First down to the Philadelphia 13, a pickup of 13. Terry Allen, you got to use him. And I think what happened with Gus Ferrat, Gus is a good quarterback, and they went, they just became a pass team. When you got Terry Allen, you have to use him. He's the key. He can carry it. Good numbers for Schuler, and again, no interceptions. And, but the, and what I like is, where's William Fuller? You don't see him. Where's Andy Harmon? And Mamula's out with the injury. You run the ball, you take the Eagles away from making the big plays on First and 10 with the best field position, best penetration in Eagle territory today, and a gain of a couple yards down to the 10 yard line. Andy Harmon makes the stop on Terry Allen right there. And you got to have patience to stick with what you're doing, and that's what I like with the Reds. Only chance the Redskins had to win this game is not allow the Philadelphia Eagle defense to create all those turnovers and shorten the field. Well, we're looking forward to the fourth quarter. That's the end of the third. Philadelphia six, Redskins nothing. Back after this from your local Fox station. Turner is in his second year with this rivalry with the Eagles. Ray Rhodes in his first, but these fans in both Philadelphia and the Redskins have enjoyed the, the tremendous battles, especially the eight games over the last couple of years decided by four points or less. The last Redskin win was here in RFK back in 1992. We begin the fourth quarter with Philadelphia leading 6 0, but the Redskins in their best position to score all day long. And the Redskins have missed a couple of field goals. Otherwise, this game would really be tight. The Terry Allen versus Lightning and Thunder has 18 rushes compared to Waters and Garner. And whoever ends up with the highest number of rushes will win this game. On the 10, second down and seven. Allen, he got a block. And he's to the six. Bobby Taylor, the rookie coach, got up from the cornerback. 
And watch Ed Simmons, the right tackle. Here's a guy that's having one of his finest years. Blocking, he'll slide down, push him down, try to get out, try to trip the next man, didn't get through. They made it crowded. Pretty important play here for Washington. From the six, it is third and four. Allen again. Touchdown, Washington Redskins. Run the ball. Terry Allen. We said if he has more carries than lightning and thunder, the Redskins will win it. Allen goes in for the touchdown. He's got four on the ground this year. And now how big is that extra point? The penalty which pushed it back to the 30. How big is the missed extra point by Philadelphia now? And you call it when they got the penalty. You said this is not an extra point. This is like a field goal. And he hit the upright. What a nice drive orchestrated by second year quarterback Heath Schuler. A lot of underneath stuff. A good balance of run and pass. And he gets him in on a seven yard touchdown run by Terry Allen and now the all important extra point. And Eddie Murray who has kicked 216 consecutive extra points. And 217 is a big one and the Redskins have a lead over heavily favored Philadelphia. So a pass to Asher for 19 yards and a Terry Allen run of 13 yards set up a touchdown. Stadium, a well orchestrated drive by number five, Heath Schuler. And the Redskins on top, seven to six. The Murray subsequent kickoff. Charlie Garner from the six yard line. And he's out of bounds. The Washington, D.C. native is out beyond the 25 yard line. Let's take another look at that touchdown that put the Redskins over the top. Watch Ray Brown. He'll push this guy back and come on and get the linebacker, Gavea, to run in there. Good job by the rookie center, and he's walking in. He's the best man on that side. On the other side is Ed Simmons, the big tackle. He's got to cut off Bill Romanowski and get him before he gets in the end zone. It's Ed Simmons and Ray Brown leading the charge for the Redskins. And look who's back in the game. Oh, now we're talking. 25-yard line, first down and 10. He's got a full bucket now, and he throws it out to a guy carrying that bucket. That's Ricky Waters. Out near the 31 yard line, and he picks up six. Tom Carter ushered him out of bounds. And what'll happen because the, as Pete's in there, and we could feel it, there's a chemistry. And sometimes your best player uh, can't move the team as good because the chemistry's not as good. And you were there, these guys love each other, and they, they want to they go win together. Rodney told us it's the most comfortable he has felt in his seven years in the NFL. Those numbers aren't bad either. Of course, when you've been in Detroit that long, anything can seem comfortable. <laughs> Second down and four. Rodney P. Oh, what a catch made. Fred Barnett and a flag thrown as Barnett is out at the 49. That's a gain of 18 yards. Wow, we got a we got a one-on-one. -on -one. We got to show you that one because that was a catch. Here's the one-on-one. -on -one. Push, shove, Carter. And in traffic, too. Oh, they may be calling Carter for grabbing a hold of that left shoulder, but that's picky unish. Whatever that means. <laughs> it means, well, how did you see that? What are you looking at there, White Cashin? <laughs> it was holding against Philadelphia, against the uh, Washington Redskins. Holding number 25 on the defense before the ball was thrown. That's declined. First down. That is a first down out to the 49, holding on number 25, Tom Carter, the cornerback for Washington. And a big pass completion and a first down. Seven to six Redskins. They've only thrown three times to Fred Barnett. He's caught him every one of those times in the 18 that have been thrown by Eagle quarterbacks today. First and 10 for Rodney Peak. And he's got a receiver for a first down. Barnett again. Fred Barnett out of bounds at the 20. 31-yard pickup. Another Philadelphia first down. 
and the Eagles are back to their formations which are two tights two wide outs you got the threat of the run opens up the pass the quarterback right now there you saw him now he has to run the quarterback starts running and scrambling and the crossing route ends up open. You would think they'd have better coverage on Barnett who is well known to be Pete's favorite target. When Pete has a good day Barnett's catching the ball. First and ten Charlie Garner slithers to the 11. Gain of nine on first down. Now this is why the Eagles have this winning streak going and why people think they're maybe the third best team in football because the formation tight end tight end why not why you can run and you can pass and they got the backs to make it work. Raleigh McKenzie leading the way on that he can block like a wild horse. Second down and two. Good looking drive by Pete. Garner. Ken Harvey would not let him get outside. Wow. It's a good thing you called it. If he got by Harvey, he was in the end zone. It was over. Lights out. Starts to his right, starts to cut it back. Ah. I'm mad. Calvin Williams needs to crack on, on that and ahead of touchdown. Come on, Calvin. You got to do more than just catch the ball. There's Harvey running and chasing. Timeout has been taken by Philadelphia. This is their first second half timeout we've got 1205 left in the game the Redskins lead the Eagles by one work with Pam Oliver Jerry Glanville this is Kevin Harlan third down and one from the 10 waters in the backfield waters gets the call waters trying to cut the corner and he's got the first down to the five Alvin Williams got him a block that time and that sprung him free and it's first and goal to go for Philadelphia much like his first touchdown it was an inside play that he's got the speed to just that he's pointing to his chest meeting he wants the ball again give it to me again Eagles had missed Jerry their last three make it their last five third down conversions as Barnett is getting wrapped up like a mummy first and goal from the five Waters well, he took two defenders to the one. Washington you along with Stanley Richardson. You was going in there. <laughs> Did you hear him? Oh, You're right. lucky I was going in. And let me tell you, this is why I hated to coach against him. This play is supposed to go to his left. He's supposed to hammer it in. He goes, I don't like it. And he's good enough to come all the way out the other side. Look at this. Nope. Oh, don't like that hole. Here I go. He'd do that to me when I was coaching. And that's why I'm broadcasting right now. Did it to me too many times. <laughs> Great work by our sound people. Oh, that was great. We got the best sound people in all of football with Fox. Now if they just get the broadcasters, they'll be all right. <laughs> second down. Goal and an easy touchdown in the second today for Ricky Waters, his sixth in the last three games. And the Eagles went back to what they do. For some reason, they went on a cerebral trip. They wanted to go four wides. They wanted to trick you. They, wanted, they went back, and this is what we are. Go do it. Sometimes you get too smart. Sometimes you get so cerebral, you quit playing your good football. They're going to go for two because they missed the extra point, and that is a very big missed extra point. It is only 12 to 7 right now. The Eagles up by five. So wisely, they go for two. Rodney Peters just let him down in a great drive. Eight ben players, Murray. 75 yards, and they're going to burn another timeout. That means the Eagles have but one remaining in the game. 11-28 remaining. When we come back, Philadelphia tries to go for two. They lead by five. A couple of Ricky Waters touchdown runs, one of uh, nine yards, one of one yard just moments ago. They missed the extra point on the first Waters touchdown. They're going to try for two here to get him back to snuff, and they lead by five, 12-7. 11-28 remaining in the fourth quarter. Going for two, Philadelphia. They have never completed a two-point conversion until right then. Calvin Williams. It's 14-7 Eagles. 11-28 remaining.
That is a happy young man. Give it to an eagle. Watch this. Here's a tight end. Here's the blocking back. This tight end is going to go in motion. This is the touchdown. So everybody knows it's going to the left, but these people block so good, he goes away from all the blockers because of Ed West and Anton Davis and all those people doing a good job. Here it is. And breaks the rule of going totally away from the tight ends, the motion, and the blocking back. Great shots today from our producer, Jeff Gowan, and our director, Andy Kindle. A nice look at that. That was for the touchdown. Now, this next one we're going to show you is the two-point conversion. The halfback, Waters is going in the flat off a pick, but they work through it, so there is nobody open in the flat, and you just throw it to Calvin Williams, and then finally Calvin got in the game. Calvin missed a block, and Calvin missed a catch, but now Calvin got two points. Good-looking drive by Philadelphia. They took Cunningham out, they put Pete in, and they kind of got back to Jerry what they do the best, that's run the ball. You know what happens to all coaches. You get the winning, and you're staying up too late, and you're drawing up stuff, and you have good ideas, but your ideas get you away from your base football play. They came right back to what they do best. Anderson, the kickoff. Ryan Mitchell from the 12-yard line for the Washington Redskins with a bit of a seam. And he runs it back to the 34 and brought down by Eric Zomaltz. Now for a McDonald's game break, back out to Hollywood we go and join James Brown. Hey, Kevin, take a look at Eric Kramer here on this bootleg, showing all kinds of patience, waiting for Michael Timpson, who finally shows up in the corner of the end zone. Touchdown, they connect, and the Bears go up 24-17 in the fourth. Back to Kevin and Jerry. Thank you, JB. A couple former Detroit Lion quarterbacks looking pretty good. Pete on that drive, and Eric Kramer, who was Pete's running made in Detroit with Chicago now and the good thing you mentioned that series they brought Pete back in talking about the Eagles and they went right down the score so going back with their regular quarterback Schuler on first and ten comes a pass incomplete looking for a land to it coverage by the rookie Bobby Taylor almost picked it off that was a deep out and he's hurrying everything speeded up and he guns it like he did earlier and watch the ball Play action, hurry, set, fire, dirt ball. He was better throwing short. You know, every time we've seen him do something deep, he's hurrying so much right now, trying to be good. But he doesn't throw the ball. Away. Second down and ten. Blitz picked up nicely, except for that guy, and then back went Schuler, and he pulls the pass. It's intercepted by Bobby Taylor. His second is a pro, and he's inside the Redskin 35. As they boo he Schuler coming off the field. Two picks last week, and that's his first today. Well, he's not responsible for the pass rush, but when you get into trouble, you know, you're not playing Chattanooga. You can't just spin around, watch him. He gets turned, got away, good job, got away. Now be careful, and you cannot heave it over the middle. And you like Bobby Taylor. Excellent rookie cornerback, as good as I've seen. Him and Poole, the guy that plays for the Panthers, are the two best rookie corners in the last three years. Best beginning field position today, Ricky Waters. McIntyre on the block, and he's down to the 30. Four three, four play. In a four. This is student body coming to the left. All the linemen are coming at you. Watch, led by Guy McIntyre. Here comes Boat Swain, Antone Davis. All the linemen are pulling. And Ricky's heading for the sideline. Good pitchers. Fox still has the best cameraman in football. Waters today, 102 yards. Garner has not come in. Second down and seven. Garner, he's still open. And there he goes. Charlie Garner to the 18-yard line. Gain of 12. And a first down. Lightning and thunder have come alive. Lightning and thunder are working it over right now. Waters on the last one and lightning on this one. Looks Go to like the right. The... Wow, just cuts off. He just cut and moving around. Jimmy Johnson. Tell James Brown in Hollywood, Jimmy Johnson is blocking good. <laughs> it's like the Redskins are getting tired on defense, too. Yeah, they're getting more done. First and 10, and Pete is checking off. Audible, audible. Garner. Falling inside the 15, around the ankles, he finds Daryl Green. 
Clock is now ticking and under 10 minutes to play in the game. Garner is not appreciated till you see him live. On, on film, on TV, you get, to, well, he's small, he's little, but when you see him live, I don't know what his height is, but he casts a big shadow when he carries the ball. Averaging over four yards a carry today during the season over five. Second down and five right now. And they blow that dead. There was still plenty of time left on the play clock. It was only down to eight. But Cashin and his crew found something else out on the field. Before the snap, false start, number 69 on the offense. Five yards, still second down. 69 is the former San Francisco 49er Harry Boatswain, who had a good game last week and probably playing about as good today. Replaced Panos, who we really liked as a guard, and it's great when you can lose a good player and come back in there with another guy that helps your program. That's not done on a lot of football teams. Ninth penalty to the game against the Philadelphia Eagles. Ninth. Yeah, they're hollering draw. You can hear all the Redskins hollering draw. Second down and ten. Down he goes. Fourth sack today, and was there a fumble? I believe that's a fumble, but Red can't decide. Red's looking at it. Come on, Red. Harvey got the sack. Not nobody's called anything. Come on, Red. They didn't. Did he point to the ground? They must rule it down. He did. There, there he goes. goes. It Thank took you. a while. Thank you, Red. You decide at home. Pump, bring the ball back. Well, his body wasn't down, but the tackler's body was down. The man making the tackle was on the ground. Well, Harvey's got a cramp. Look at him work over that cramp, that calf muscle. They got to get his toe and pull his toe back towards his stomach. What does that do? Well, it hurts so much you forget about the cramp. <laughs> 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 I was going to go to medical school, but I could only get in as a cadaver, so I dropped that plan. <laughs> well, you're a doctor, all right, but I don't know a doctor of what. <laughs> oh. Final timeout taken by Philadelphia, so they are out of timeouts with 8.46 remaining here at RFK. The Eagles came in having won six of seven. They beat the Giants last week. Waters had two touchdowns last week. He had two touchdowns the week before against Denver, and he's got two today against the Washington Redskins. 102 yards for Waters today on 16 carries, and they just absolutely ran rough shot over Washington the first time, and they're doing the same thing again this afternoon. Well, it took a while for Lightning and Thunder to get going, and Mr. Inside and Outside, if you just keep feeding them, something's going to happen because they, they both have the... The, uh, the potential to go the distance. There's Harvey, got the cramp worked out. Somewhere along the line, they got to get fluids in him, but he's got to go play. The next time he comes out of the game, he's got to drink as much water as he can get inside. Him. Good news, the cramp is gone. The bad news is now he's got a toe problem. <laughs> yeah, right? that toe hurts. Got turf toe from pulling that foot back. You called Waters and Garner the best running back tandem in the NFL as we opened up our show here today. The two best backs on one team, and for some reason, for the Eagles, they took about two and a half quarters and decided they want to be a throwing team. And you got to be careful that you don't overcoach yourself and get too smart. Take the pieces that you have and just keep using them. Well, they've been doing it well, though, Jerry. Their offense has been more uh, in rhythm. They have got that West Coast offense that offensive coordinator John Gruden has implemented. Of course, Ray Rhodes is very familiar with that in his many years in San Francisco and Green Bay. But it's really not like the West Coast. It's a power running team inside. And it's not it's not the San Francisco deal. It's it's the Philadelphia Eagle offense. Third down and 13. This Philadelphia possession set up on an interception. Waters and he's to the 23, and they got to get down all the way to the eight. So they're a ways away, and here comes the field goal unit on as they try to cash in on the Heath Schuler interception. Watch the linemen, the guards, the tackles, Boat Swain, McIntyre, Anton Davis. They're pulling everybody around. Harvey's fighting his oh, and they got Harvey got cleaned up by the backside guy. But that's the Eagles. That's what the Eagles have to do. Linemen have quick feet, don't they, for this Philadelphia offense? They run offensive around, line. they move. 
Well, here's Anderson. A 41-yard attempt. His first today. And he misses. We've had some awful kicks today, haven't we? Boy, this puts this game right here. Redskins are still breathing. 802 remaining in the fourth. Glanville and Pam Oliver, Kevin Harlan, and our great Fox Network crew with you at RFK today. On this Thanksgiving weekend from the 31 yard line, Redskins will have it. Jerry, 802 left in the game, and they're down by a touchdown. And the thing the Redskins, they have to stay with how they got the last touchdown. Short passes, run the football, don't be gunning the deep out all the way across the field, and give the quarterback a chance. A lot of missed kicks in this game, too. It's kept it close. First down and 10. And Terry Allen, the call. And he plummets his way to the 35, picks up three. Gavea the tackle, and downstairs we go to Pam Oliver. Well, guys, I wouldn't look for Fred Barnett to return to the lineup. He has been spending most of this time while the Eagles offense was on the field, stretching, putting ice on that groin. Uh, he's also taped it up. He took the tape off, and they've been putting ice on it again. I would not look for him to return today. Back to you. All right, Pam, thank you. Second down. Seven and a half minutes left in the game. Six to go. A catch in a first down. A land to it near midfield. What a pass by Schuler. And what a block by Ed Simmons. Two plays in a row. Ed Simmons is knocking the Eagles around. Now, this is the first out route thrown in the short. The ball's on this hash. And the pass that was on this hash, he was trying to throw all the way across. He throws this one to the short side. And what does easier that do? Th easier throw, a lot less distance. The ball's in the air, so it's a good throw. All the other outs, he was throwing across the field from the wrong hash mark. Truett had four catches last week. He's got four catches today for 49 yards. Schuler going deep, and he's got a receiver. And he dropped it. Orlando Truitt, covered by Greg Jackson. That was it. And I think he heard Jackson coming. It was a double pump. The quarterback makes sort of a little short pump. Watch him. Oh, we lost him. He pumps there on the out, and bam, he's gone. And don't feel 47. Don't worry about Greg Jackson. Don't worry about him. You're worried about him. You got to make those plays, or you find yourself selling Chevrolets. Which he was doing five weeks ago. Three, nine, Second down and ten. Hand off to Terry Allen. Big hole. Then he ran into his own blocker, James Jenkins. Wow. Hit his own guy. Open your eyes on that one. What a game they're having up at the Meadowlands at 24 apiece. The Bears and the Giants. Looks like Green Bay is going to go to another win up in Green Bay and go to their eighth win of the season. And Miami has come back on Indianapolis. Buffalo and New England in a good game at Buffalo. Boy, close games all over the place. This whole league's getting closer and closer. The more we're in free agency, the talent will be spread out to all the clubs. Third down and six. Shula running out of time. And he's run out of down. It's fourth down. They got to punt the ball. Daniel Stubbs came in and whacked. Redskin quarterback Heath Shula. Ed Simmons, when he gets the schedule for the year, he looks to win. He plays against Fuller. He's having a heck of a day. He's on Fuller. Watch him block Fuller. Fuller hasn't touched anybody. He said, when I get the schedule, where is the two days I'm going against Fuller? Because that's how people judge me. Do I keep, and he's keeping William out of there. Going to have, him and his wife going to have a baby son in March, and they're all excited. They got two daughters, and now he's going to get to have his first son. Turk got it high, great hang time, and out of bounds it goes at about the 21 22 yard line, a 27 yard punt. And the Eagles will get it with 6.09 remaining in the fourth quarter. This game is presented by authority of the National Football League, is intended for the private use of our audience. Any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the expressed written consent of the Washington Redskins and the National Football League is strictly prohibited. Well, on our look back today, missed field goals and a mixed extra point was big. So a two-point conversion by the Eagles had to suffice. They got back in track. They lead it 14 to 7. 
Ricky Waters. To the 20 and back to the line of scrimmage. Brought down by Ken Harvey. Sterling Palmer knocked the opening away from the side. Why can the Eagles run the football? Watch him switch the direction. He's going to run this here, but he sees the way they shift over, so he hollers. He's switching the play this way. He's taking it away from the run force, and he tells the back when he hits his other leg, and there was a good audible by Pete away from the run force. Second down 11. Pete. Tight end Jimmy Johnson. Former Redskin, and he's out to the 28 yard line. Marcus Patton was hunting him down. A pair is two tight ends together. This is a pair. This makes this outside linebacker is outflanked by two players. The man running to the flat. Watch it. That's like stealing. If they're going to stay in there, that's like picking a chicken wing. How much you want to eat depends on how hungry you are. But don't swallow the bone. <laughs> Third down and one. Ricky Waters. First down. Now the key is Waters has to hold on to the football. Well, people call him a fumbler, but I call him a runner with second and third effort. Guys that won't go down and fight for another yard. Just have a, you know, you can pull the ball out on them because they're working so hard. They're not hitting the ground, so I don't worry about him. He, he's so good. If the ball comes out, it comes out because he's running and working so hard. Having a great year is Ricky Waters. He has carried the ball today over 20 times, and of course, that's what he wanted to do when he came to Philadelphia. Thought that he wouldn't have a chance to do that in San Francisco. He has. He just picked up the first down. Here's another carry. Waters. Happen on his back like a rodeo cowboy inside. Rod Stevens makes the stop. His lead draws. He's been sneaking up inside, then bouncing outside. And and you got to take some inside. And that's what he did on this one. He looked in there. He didn't like it, but he took it up in there anyway. You see, he's shaking his head because he's been bouncing the lead draws outside. Big day for Ricky Waters. And near the conclusion of today's game, Jerry and I will select the Miller Lite Player of the Game. Garner has come in, second down and eight. Charlie Garner. And like a pitcher who has different speeds on his pitches in baseball, it looks like these running backs for Ray Rhodes give a different feel every time they touch the ball. Garner kind of the slasher, and you mentioned before, kind of a bulldozing type in Ricky Waters. And the quarterback is a part of this. When he did that time, he had the run call to his right, and Pete saw the safety come up to the left, so he turned around and said, we're leaving it on. And they, they went away from the eight man front. And so the quarterback is directing Waters and he's directing Gardner away from where the run force is. Third down and two. Making a long two. Rodney Pete. Gardner's in the flat. Has the first down and went head first into the defense and moved a pile to the 45 yard line. That is a big play. The clock is ticking. Rodney Pete now is hit his last five passes for the Philadelphia Eagles. And the Redskins have good pressure and good coverage, but big time athletes make other players miss. Oh, they pick up the blitz, and now they have the coverage right there. He fakes outside, comes inside, and then he runs over Cart. I mean, that's what's making this team. These two backs can run over or around people. He's 5'9, and he knocked two players backwards. He's full speed now. Seventh play of the drive. First down and ten. Ricky Waters hurdles the defender. Running out that clock is at the 47. The Redskins have three timeouts remaining. The Eagles are out of timeouts, and we have reached the two-minute warning. Philadelphia trying to hold on to the ball, and Norv Turner wants it back one last time as he trails by seven. And Pam Oliver, Kevin Harlan, RFK Stadium. The Eagles took over with 6:09. They've had it over four minutes on this drive, and there they go again up the middle, rumbling and tumbling and stumbling is Ricky Waters. And that right there puts him well over 100 yards, and Jerry, he coupled with Garner, changed this game when they went back to running with Waters and Garner. And you also got to add Garner's receptions for first downs and Garner's uh, returns of the kicks. And these two told us they want to be known as Thunder and Lightning, and they may go a long way with those two nicknames. They're so, better than 
Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. It's pretty good. The Miller Lite players of the game. As we see Sterling Palmer being looked at, Ricky Waters, 116 yards today, two touchdowns. He has six touchdowns in the last three games. And Charlie Garner, who's up right about five yards a carry, and he has made a difference. Our Miller Lite players of the game, Waters and Garner. And they've both done a good job uh, on catching, receiving the short pass, making somebody miss. And then I thought Garner did his best job on returning the kickoffs. Tried to get their team back in it. And it was amazing when the coach pulled the quarterback, they, these two went over to Pete. So we got to get you back in the game. Why did they pull the quarterback? Again? Oh, I think they're, you know, they weren't having any success. And, and uh, that's what they're trying to uh, get a spark going somewhere. Terry Allen's had a good day, too, for the Washington Redskins, almost a one-man band. But Jerry said before the game, he alone had to outrush both Waters and Gardner, and you can see he's 11 behind him. And not in yardage, just in attempts. If they could have got more attempts than the other two, they could have won this football game. And I got to take my hat off to Norv Turner. He tried to stick with the plan, and he tried to do things to have his team have a chance to win it at the end with a young quarterback. Today's game produced by Jeff Gowan, directed by Andy Kendall and our great Fox crew of sound people and technicians, camera people. Thank you, gentlemen. Great to have you with us on this Thanksgiving weekend of the nation's capital. First down and 10 yards to go. Ricky Waters swerves inside the 40 to the 39. Ken Harvey got the first lick at him. The pregame show is produced by Scott Ackerson. Directed by Bob Levy and the executive producers of Fox Sports are Ed Gorin and David Hill. Timeout taken, 144 left in the game. Eagles by a touchdown. Washington got a touchdown run from Terry Allen. Now coming up on the NASDAQ postgame report, we'll get you up to date on all the scores from this week 13 of the NFL season. That's all next on the NASDAQ postgame report with JB in the game back in Hollywood. Waters is right now at 1,000 yards on the season. So the nine and seven. Ricky Waters make it 1,004 as he takes it to the 35, a couple yards shy of the first down. That was the seventh carry by Waters on this drive, and he's got 24 yards on this drive. We're going with the stud late in the game. He can just uh, slither, loop, cut back. And he doesn't necessarily go where the blocking is right now. He's smart enough. He's not looking for a big play, so he's just following the blocking, and he's taking the clock. Eagles, if they do go on to win, will win their seventh game in their last eight. A tough game next week at the Kingdom in Seattle. And they got that game in Veterans Stadium, circled on the December 10th calendar, and then Arizona. And then they play at Chicago on Christmas Eve, and that will be an interesting game. North Turner, on the other hand, and his Redskins have a very tough schedule coming up. Three consecutive road games, including a game at Dallas next week, then at the Giants, then at the Rams. will be fighting to stay in the playoff race in the West, and they finish here in the nation's capital against Carolina. Third and three, 11th play of this Philadelphia drive. Ricky Waters who makes his eighth carry on the 11 plays on this drive with Keith Taylor taking him down. is still shy of a first down as he picked up a yard right there. And Schuler on the phone upstairs trying to plan the next possession. Well, the Eagles here have a choice to go for this and never turn the ball back over, which I believe they'll do. I believe they'll, they'll go ahead and try to make this yard. And both teams, Jerry, are out of timeouts. When they made the tackle, the Redskins and stopped him. Mitchell jumped right off the ground, ready to go back and receive a punt, but I think he was early. I don't know that they're gonna punt yet. Well, and also recall too that their punter last week, Tommy Hutton had a punt blocked by the New York Giants. So there is still that glimmer of hope for what has been the best special teams in the NFL all this season in the Washington Redskins. And of course, every time you see number 30, as Ray Rhodes told us last night, it's like a nightmare. You don't know when he's going to come back and get you. And the first time these two teams played this year, he returned a punt 59 yards for the touchdown. So a lot. This is a very important punt right here with 52 seconds left. 
And they have no, the Redskins were lucky. The Eagles took a lot of time with the official, so they got the line up for the block. Hutton will be punting inside the 50. And it's on one bounce, but he gets it away. And with great hang time, Mitchell will let it bounce inside the five and down at the three. A great punt by Tommy Hutton of 30, making a 38 yards. Jerome Henderson was jumping on the ball. Now for young Heath Schuler, 43 seconds with which to work, and he's down by seven, and he is stranded at his own three. And he has no timeouts left. Pretty tough. The offensive line will have their work cut out for him. Trying to Andy Harmon has not touched the quarterback. William Fuller hasn't touched the quarterback. And Harmon had two sacks last week against the Giants. The Eagles are going to come with a three man rush and play all the deep zones. So there's only going to be three people after the quarterback. First and ten from the three for Shula. Henry Ellard first catch today out to the 30 yard line and a first down but no timeouts so we're down to 30 seconds and again at 28 right there and great pressure by Fuller great inside club first time he ever beat Ed Simmons all day but he didn't touch the quarterback Schuler again Ellard again incomplete Barry Wilburn broke it up 17 seconds remaining could have easily been a catch right there and, and they've been in great shape The secondary is back 10, 20, 25 yards deep. They're all the way back to the 45 yard line. 14 7 Philadelphia, 17 seconds left. Second down and 10 for he sure he'll buy some time as he gets flushed from the pocket and throws a pass. Brian Mitchell did not catch it. He is already out of bounds. third down they have to get a first down and make I guess they'd have to they'd have to get two more before they could big Bennett and get down in that end zone so a short pass you know get to 12 yards and get another 10 yards and then try to win the football game third and 10 11 seconds left and no timeouts Schuler throws deep. And on the deflection, it was almost caught by Jeff Query. We're down to two seconds left and fourth down. Surprised they tried that, Kevin, on the third down. I thought they'd go and try to get the, the 10 yards. That throw has to land in the end zone. They're too far away for it to land in the end zone. Redskins have lost three consecutive games coming into today. Eagles had won six of seven. Fourth and ten. Final play of the game. And again, Schuler into a thicket, and it is incomplete. And the game is over, and for the fifth time in the last three years, the Philadelphia Eagles have had a fourth quarter comeback to beat the Washington Redskins. The final today, the Eagles 14, the Redskins 7. So now for Jerry Glanville and Pam Oliver, this is Kevin Harlan saying so long from RFK Stadium where the final score, Philadelphia 14, Redskins 7. Waters over 100 yards and over 1,000 on the year. Stay tuned now for the NASDAQ Post Game Report from our Hollywood studios after these messages and a pleasant good afternoon from the nation's capital.